Hey everyone, welcome back to your tutorial on building an app in Bubble 2019. We're still working on this login screen. And as promised, today we're going to do forgot password and we're going to add a better handler for when uh, the user isn't logged in or whatever. So the first thing we do is that handler and on forgot password, we can actually show a pop-up. <clears throat> this pop-up, boom, we can draw out using the thing called pop-up. And it's very responsive, it works well on mobile. And uh, so we get, we're just gonna use that. Um, I wanna max with the 300 because I, we really don't need any more uh, than that. Uh, we can let it spread out if you want a little bit of a wider pop-up, but basically we're going to put a shape at Y00 and a height of 1 and width of 300, and we're going to brand this with a color. Uh, just makes it look better, I find. Then we're going to add some text, and in this text we're going to say forgot password, and this we're going to make, uh, I guess, bold and 18 and a dark text color. And then we're gonna make sure it's centered and we're gonna center it here. And our margins, we're gonna leave it 30 pixels, sounds about right. And then we're gonna put in some text. And then we're gonna make sure the margins are consistent, so 90 instead of 96. And we're gonna make sure this has even margins on either side by centering it horizontally, centering it horizontally. I actually want a margin of 30, so, you know, I'm just gonna do guesswork because of the tutorial. And I won't make it pixel perfect, but usually 30 is a good margin. And this text we're going to write, uh, enter your email and we'll resend you. Okay, now I wanted to take a minute to apologize while I'm building this out. I'm sure you can follow because it's nothing that we haven't done before to apologize for the inconsistency in my tutorials. It's been crazy ever since Christmas, basically. It's been absolutely nut bar. Uh, I was visiting family and then all my friends showed up uh, in my hometown. And then I went to Florida and now I'm in Mexico City. So the frequency of my postings have been uh, suffering, but I think now for the next two weeks, I should be able to post one every two days at least. So uh, we're going to, we're going to do that. Oh, reset. We're gonna by, by that I mean post more often. That's what I mean. And this one could be 25 pixels, so minus one, 239. It's because this height is weird, so let's keep it at 40. And let's go ahead and add three, 242, I believe. 30, 30, 33, okay, whatever. Just make them all 30 or whatever. Uh, send password reset, and then we're gonna close this up, and this will be called pop-up reset pass. Now, just for UX UI purposes, if they forgot their password, they might have typed it into their email first. So we're going to send that email right to the pop-up before we show it. So start a workflow here, and we're going to say set state of pop-up uh, reset pass. This is just UX UI um, email, and we're going to send whatever email is contained in the um, input email, this one here, I think. Yep, this value. Um, so we're gonna send that, and then we're going to show that pop-up that we said we wanted to show. Uh, and then in the pop-up itself, which you'll find here, and when you click on it, it'll automatically scroll to the top of your screen. If you're not there yet, you have to scroll up to be able to see it. Sometimes if you're building down here, the pop-up will show up on top. Just scroll up and you'll find it. So edit workflow. <clears throat> no, first, email. Initial content can be um, pop-up reset passes email. And that way we just sent the email up and then we directly put it in here. I want it to be orangey, but a little bit smaller, like 24. This is just stuff for, for my app and my styling. So don't worry about doing the exact same thing. Now we want to go um, account and we can send password reset email. And you have a preloaded one, and it has a token. Um, and basically what happens is it sends a link, and then you can click on it and then reset your password. We're going to go see that right quick after, but the email to reset will be this input email's value. Okay, so it'll reset this email, it'll send a password. Okay, and 
Uh, now we can, and then we have to hide the pop-up, obviously, so that it doesn't stay there. Hide, pop-up, reset, pass. Okay, let's give it a quick try and see what happens. Um, we're going to enter an email just to make sure. Because if there is no email, enter. Oh, yeah, two things I did I didn't put in the video. I just said uh, go to page index, p login, when get p from page URL is empty. And the other thing I want to do is um, nav uh, account, log the user out every time the page is refreshed because we're working on the login screen and I don't want the user to be logged in and it'll, it'll, make, some, it'll make some problems, I think. Okay, so here it is. True, 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 doesn't matter. Forgot password, it will set true, true, whatever's in the email right here, or they could change it as ASDF. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is not bad at gmail.com. And then we will be able to send a password reset. Uh, what it looks like, I'm just going to let you test because I don't feel like blurring out my emails and stuff. So you go ahead and test it. But now it should have sent an email. And then on that um, link reset, it should send you to uh, reset PW. A token just verifies that it was sent from the right place. And uh, the link will send you to reset PW. Now, if the token is valid, it allowed that user to reset their password and go to confirm. And when confirmed, you go input passwords value, um, confirmation input confirmations value, and finally you can go to a page uh, of whatever you want. Maybe you can go to login, um, or you can log the user in with an email, send it. Anyways, there's lots of things to do, but traditionally you don't send the email. You make them log in one more time, which I always thought was kind of crappy. But who am I to argue with convention? So we're gonna go p equals login. So when the user gets this password confirmation, this password reset, they'll type in their new password and type in their new password again, press confirm. That will change their password for them and send them to the page login. And then they'll be able to log in again and everything will be super fresh and functional, if you know what I'm saying. All right, next, let's pull up main logger again. You'll notice the, the there's a few changes, but uh, the other thing I promised you was to uh, when you have an error message, have a nicer styled error message. So I'm going to show you how to do one or two, and then you can do the rest of them yourself. So if you go to settings and then languages, you'll find a list of all of the error codes. Um, and in these error codes, you can actually add handlers for every single code. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm basically just going to do uh, no such user. We couldn't find a user with that email uh, because that one pops up a lot when you go sign up instead of login. If, if you go login instead of sign up and the user doesn't actually exist. So we're going to go ahead and um, add a handler for that. So you start on uh, the button that's going to generate the error is probably login. So let's go to workflow and let's go to the bottom here and click to add an event and you can go elements and an element has an error running a workflow you can actually select the element button login and you can say only when this error code or current workflows errors code and then you can go pick in the settings tab which code it is so we're going to go uh, in this one, no such user. Okay, so let's go to design and let's go, sorry, let's go to workflow and let's type in current workflows error code is, and then it's caps, no underscore such underscore user. Now, when that happens, we want to show a different error message. So we're going to create a new pop-up. Um, these things are super, super useful and responsive and they end up looking nice. And the first thing we're going to do is grab some text and make it nice and big so that they know there was an error. And we're going to write, sorry, because I'm Canadian, I have to apologize when they make a mistake. So remove this Lato 36. And let's center it. And let's grab this color right here. And it's like that. Now I'm going to show you a trick. Um, we're going we're gonna to set our margins. 35. I think 30 is better than 35. So let's go 30. And let's let this go. And um, now we're going to put in text. But before we put in text, we're going to put in a group. And we're going to go boom. And this group is going to be collapsed when hidden. Um, and it's not going to be visible on page load. Now, when do we want to show it? When uh, pop-ups. This is pop-up D, I believe. 
and we're going to create a new custom state called error msg and our state type will be text and let's create that is cap locks no underscore such underscore user and now when no such user is sent to popup d we really need to rename this pop error okay i had my caps on but it's no super big deal let's reveal this in the elements tree so that we can find it and group fzz is no such user and then we're going to put in some text in here that's applicable to no such user uh, so whatever you want here and then we're going to put in a button on the bottom and we're going to say just close so center horizontally let's go with close and this start edit workflow will hide the pop-up where is it oh it's all the way up here hide this pop-up which is pop-up error and this one should show up if the state the text state of this pop-up is no such user so now we have to send it so let's go back to our workflow where we're starting to set up this error message let's say i'm at actions set state of pop-up error custom state error message will be current workflows errors message always and then we're going to show that um, pop-up show element pop-up error okay so now what should happen if there's no such user it should show a pop-up uh, instead of that ugly message so let's go with uh let's go log in with the me with an email we know doesn't exist dot com password will be asdf and let's go log in then it should send an error message yeah saying no such user and it should show this group which it's not so for debugging purposes we're going to add this add a text on top and we're going to go insert dynamic data and pop up errors error message and we're going to run that again just to see what the error message was and why it wasn't popping up we could have done it in the in the uh, index but until your app is ready for launch i suggest doing it this way just so you can add all of the um, error messages as you find them during your test your testing so let's go ahead and see Oh, it's the message. We're sending the message. Sorry. My apologies. That was all me. Error message should be current workflows errors code. That's what we want. So we should be able to try that again. And it should work this time. Uh, and, and, and I just had a, a brilliant idea which will make this tutorial much shorter. Login. No such user. Sorry. Okay. So this should work. Why is it? Oh, I forgot to add the conditional on here. I bet you. Yeah, element is visible true. So now it should work. But I just had a pretty good idea. This is how I used to do it. This is how I'm going to do it now. Uh, all we want is a branded pop-up that's nicer, right? So let's go ahead and take that out of the group and just say instead we can go parent. Uh, we can go pop-up errors, error message, right? And we can send... Yeah, that's much, much better. So let's, instead of the code, show the message. I used to do an individual code for all the ones that I liked. But um, yeah, let's remove, let's remove this condition. And now all of the codes will go to this pop-up and it'll look nicer. Let's see. Ah, oh, the things you learn while you're making tutorials. Yep, perfect. Cool, cool. So we did the forgot password and we added a handler that works. Uh, it's a little bit nicer. And now we can do the OAuth. So I'll put that up uh, in, a, in a few moments too. I think I'm just going to do it today. So we'll see you there.